All right, welcome back. Uh, Sharon Svenson, Svenson Hypnosis, uh, another episode in our testimonial series. Uh, today we're with Angel Christina, and she is the founder of WOW, which is Wondrous Online Women. So uh, definitely, we'll, we'll include the link down below. Uh, check her out because she really supported and helped me in my business. So um, let's talk phobias. Uh, one of the services that I provide is uh, one, uh, just one session. So mostly I focus on my Mastery of Joy packages uh, for weight loss, depression, but um, it's super fun to do different things like uh, somebody might have, and I know it doesn't set, you wouldn't think phobias are fun. If you have it, it's not fun. But for me, it's super fun. People do sports improvements, uh, phobias, migraine headaches. There's some things where I can address things super quickly um, in one or two sessions. And often phobias is one of them. So you came to me and you did one session and uh, you wanted to move to Spain, but you had a phobia of cockroaches. Uh, so that's, there, yeah, so that was really holding you back. Um, so. So you take it from there. Um, what did you experience and what, is the, what was the outcome? So first start, of all- Start with where you started at yeah. first. So in the beginning, I, this phobia was very, very real for me. And even if you're not afraid of cockroaches, particularly perhaps another insect or some sort of animal. And to me, it was huge because it was deeply rooted from my childhood. So obviously Sharon is amazing at that to see where it's coming from and then kind of, you know, unravel it. So for me, it was deeply rooted from a very young age and I, I wanted still to move to Spain and now I am here. So tick. However, it was really holding me back because when I used to see cockroaches, I used to run for my life. I had an experience back home where I'm from when I was a child that there was one in room and I ended up in the street and it was in the middle of the night and I got nearly run over. So this is the kind of phobia so that you know where I was with it. Yeah. Running yeah. my life, running out from the building. So that's where it started. And uh, when I came to you, you, first of all, you were very, very well researched about the particular insect and uh, what it does and it's, it's work here on earth. <laughs> and we to a journey of learning about the structure, for example, you know, this like a, a case or an armor, now I call it an armor, so we associated it with a warrior. That for me was a very, very important word to remember every time I saw one from then onwards, which actually happened quite often, it was really, really interesting that there were times where I saw nothing and then there were times where I saw and I was like, okay, looks like I need to improve on myself. There was obviously the very, very powerful meditation that you asked me to do on a daily, uh, uh, on a daily level so that I continue understanding and learning about the new ways rather than holding on to the old fearful ways. So that was something that I did religiously and it nice. really, really helped because when I saw the first one, when I moved to Spain, which did not take very long, <laughs> I went back to what I learned in the meditation, what I heard, I was telling it that back to myself, I kind of self-soothed and no, did not run out of the, the building. I'm not telling you that I was enjoying sure. being close to it, but it was much better. I actually remained in the proximity. Now I have improved to a level that if it's there, it's there and life goes on. And if someone is around and they can take it away from me, that's fantastic. If not, I could just, you know, like put an empty box upside down on it and I know it's being handled, you know, it's not going to run away or yeah. come on me anymore and it's there. And I actually even stay in the same room if I'm reading a book or whatever I'm doing. Cool. And that to me was huge because I used to be <laughs> terrified of what if it comes on me, what if it flies on me. It, one never flew on me again since I was eight years old, but you always think that's going to happen again. And to me, this was such an embedded fear that I can't believe that now there are here in Spain and I don't love them, but I don't mind them that much anymore at all, to be honest with you. And uh -huh. I also made an improvement that there was a tiny one, which I actually managed to spray, pick it up with a tissue paper and flush it down. 
And that for me was a huge achievement. Huge. And huge yeah. Thank yeah. you to you, Sharon, because that's, that's huge for me. That's like going close to it and actually physically touching it. Yeah. It would have not happened in a million years without working with you for sure. <laughs> well, and I love that you followed through with the meditation, that you religiously listened to it, and that um, you took responsibility for your life so that you were willing uh, to look at it in a different way. So that's what I, I like about uh, people that uh, go the session of, of, of doing maybe just one session with the meditation. They have to be kind of like you, willing to follow through um, with the meditation because it can take it to deeper levels. So I would say to you, um, go ahead and every now and then keep bringing out that recording and maybe listen to it for three or four days in a row um, every couple of months because it's still going to take it deeper and take you to a more peaceful place and help you uh, look at it in a different ways. So I love that. Yay. So thank you. Um, and I think my goal, I really, because you said you, you did it religiously, I really wanted to come to Spain and I am here. For me, moving to Spain was more important than the fear or the phobia. So I, I chose the joy of whatever I will achieve from not having the phobia. And I gave that more importance than the phobia itself. And I think that's something that's I can. So huge. That that's willingness. Phobia. Yeah, you were willing, willing to let go even. And I tell people again and again, that's a good point that you don't have to know how you're going to do it. You don't have to even believe in yourself that you can do it, but come willing, uh, willing to see things in a different way, willing to change. And you did, you, t you totally came. From and that. I also remember that you had brought me to a place with the meditations that I don't need to necessarily see them anymore. And it literally was happening. So there were times where I did, but there were times where I was not seeing any. And I was like, is this, am I in Spain? I'm not seeing any anymore. <laughs> no, you don't fear them. So, you know, you, you, you're not like weary. And there was yeah. a phase where I was not seeing them anymore. So that for me was a very, very big achievement. So. Yeah, I love that where they're not even on your radar anymore. Um, but it's not unusual that you, you kind of wanted to prove too, that you could be aware of them and still be peaceful. So, um, yeah, so, so you might want to listen to the recording. Um, like I said, a little bit more so that, um, you can go to, to that place of, if they're there, it doesn't matter. They're not even on my radar. I don't even see them because you're so busy focused on other joyful, fun, fun things to do. All right. Well, that, uh, thank you so much. And for those who want to find out more, go to my website, svensonhypnosis.com. And if you're intrigued and want to find more about um, Angel Christina and her WOW group, uh, we'll also have the link below. So, all right. Blessings. <laughs>